Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about your Teachable account and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you set up to receive payments on Teachable? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video. But why would you need to set up the payments on your Teachable account? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're making money online by selling your courses through Teachable, you know that you have to set up your payments in order to receive those funds, whatever the case is it's a pretty easy process it's here in your teachable admin account check my video description I'll try to leave all the written instructions there as well once you've logged into your teachable course account first what you're gonna need to do is click on this hamburger menu here on the top left these three horizontal lines once you do that you're gonna see a drop-down menu and in order to set up your payments so you can receive your money from Teachable, you need to click on the settings button. It's right here next to a gear icon. Okay, once you do that, it's gonna open up the global settings for your Teachable account. And in order to set up to receive your payments from Teachable, once again, click on the hamburger menu here on the top left. Okay, so once you do that, it's gonna open up the menu again. You're gonna get the options underneath settings. And in order to go ahead and set up your payments from Teachable, click on payments. Okay, so you're gonna have to go through a questionnaire with Teachable in order to receive payments from your Teachable account. So first you need to choose your country. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose mine. Okay, so I'm located in the United States. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on my state and then the zip code. Okay, so once you've done that, click on the green continue button here at the bottom. Okay, next I do require you to go ahead and set up your payment gateway with your mobile phone number. Now just keep in mind, you will receive a text message to verify that number. So make sure you use the correct mobile phone number. Okay, I entered in my number. I'm gonna click on continue. Okay, so now since you are receiving payments from Teachable, they are required to ask you some tax information. So here they're gonna ask, what's your filing status, individual or company? So I'm gonna go ahead and choose for me. Okay, next they're asking for my annual sales last year. So I'm gonna go ahead and just choose this one. And next you wanna click on continue. Okay, next they let you know that they're gonna be using Stripe in order to receive payments for your Teachable account. So you wanna go ahead and enter in your email and then click on continue. Okay, next Stripe is asking for your phone number. This is to verify your account on Stripe. So use the number that you have with your Stripe account. Okay, once you've entered in your your cell phone number, click on continue. Okay, I just received a text message from Stripe confirming that I wanna go ahead and connect my Stripe account to my Teachable account, so I'm gonna enter that code in here. Okay, it's processing now. Okay, next Stripe is asking about my business, so they're asking which country, so I filled that out, and then what type of business, and then you wanna click on continue. Okay, next Stripe is asking for some personal information. This is to verify they are required to do this because it's a banking account. So they're asking for date of birth, home address, phone number, and last four of my social security number. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter all this information in off screen. Okay, once you fill that out, scroll to the bottom and click on this continue button. Okay, you are required to provide a website or some sort of social media page and that way they can verify how you're gonna be making money online. So for me, I'm gonna go ahead and just put in my YouTube channel. Okay, I put that information in, I'm gonna click on continue. Okay, next you need to connect your bank. So go ahead and scroll through these banks to make the process easier. If not, you can do what I do and then enter your banking details manually. So let me click here. All right, so in order to add your bank to receive payments through this Stripe account, you need to enter the routing number, account number, and then confirm the account number. So I'm gonna do that off screen. Okay, I entered in the required banking information. I'm gonna click on save. Okay, next you get a review screen. So you wanna look through all of the personal private information that you are submitting. Make sure that everything is accurate because it can prevent you from connecting your Stripe to your Teachable account to receive payments. If all of it looks good, go ahead and click on this black agree and submit button at the bottom. Okay, just a quick second later, the page refreshes. It brings me back here to my Teachable account. It says that I'm almost done. In order to start collecting payments, they need a few more questions. So you need to click on this let's do it button. Okay, they're asking how often I wanna get paid out. So for me, I'll go ahead and choose monthly, but that's up to you. Okay, next they're asking me to sign up for back office. I'm not gonna do that right now, so let me go ahead and click on skip. Okay, now they're asking what type of course that I'll be selling on my Teachable account and then also the average price range. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and just enter in something here and then I'll click on finish. Okay, next I get this confirmation screen saying I'm good to go. So they're gonna pay me out monthly and that is what I suggested. And then you can also change the payment settings here if you need to do so if you made an error. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to connect your Stripe account to your Teachable account so you can receive payment payments. That is the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.